Everyone's heard of instant cup noodles. We've all tried it once or twice, or even a 100 of times, but has anyone bothered to read the warning label on the package? I'm a longtime veteran of eating cup noodles and I can honestly say that I haven't. The thought has never crossed my mind. In this video, I want to go over the question of whether or not it's safe to microwave instant noodles packaged in a styrofoam cup that they come in. But let's get straight to the point. It's not safe to microwave styrofoam. Styrofoam is fundamentally comprised of a compound known as styrene. In multiple studies across the world which included animals and humans, there was a common conclusion to how this compound is directly linked to cancer. Additional studies have found that heating up containers made of polystyrene have been found to leak into foods as well. It's important that when you come across styrofoam food containers, you know how to properly cook the food and avoid health risks. This is where this article comes in as a guide. I also want to explain the reasons why several safety concerns are associated with microwaving instant noodles from the styrofoam container that they come in. A quick glance what is styrofoam? Why is styrofoam bad? What happens when you microwave styrofoam cup noodles? Styrofoam component styrene is linked to cancer it is also linked to hormone complications how much leaching can come from styrene? Make sure to use microwave safe containers transfer food from styrofoam to a microwavable plate the bottom line what is styrofoam? Styrofoam is a material that's used in the production of plastic and polystyrene foam. Polystyrene is made from styrene, a plastic polymer. The term, polystyrene, is used to refer to multiple types of polymers that are created through this chemical process. Some are used as components in plastic, while others are produced as foams or other products. These containers have gained popularity due to them being widely available and easy to produce. They are also considered good for insulation and thus helps keep food and drinks warm for longer periods. These polystyrene containers have become so widely used and so popular that it was a shock to the nation when studies discovered their health risks. More and more states are banning together to prohibit the use of styrofoam material for food. Aside from the major risk factors with our food, it's also well known that this material doesn't decompose so easily and can leave areas desolate with the trash that can last hundreds of years. It's been studied that it will take 500 years for styrofoam to decompose so it is officially considered a non-biodegradable pollutant. Why is styrofoam bad? The major concern came about when studies and years worth of research finally came up with the conclusion that styrofoam was linked to cancer. Styrofoam was widely used as containers for food and many households unknowingly believed there is no harm in microwaving styrofoam containers with food. When the conclusion of these studies was available, the question about whether it was even safe to microwave styrofoam came up. As the Food and Drug Administration FDA, got involved, they decided to regulate the about of the compound that was allowed in the materials that were used in conjunction with food. Manufacturers had to comply with these protocols if they were to continue producing foods contained in this material. What happens when you microwave styrofoam cup noodles? Microwaving styrofoam with food in it v3 Microwaving styrofoam with food in it v3 While it might not kill you right away if you accidentally ate food from a microwaved food container, it's highly advised to avoid heating styrofoam with food. It is found that styrofoam beads begin to melt at the temperature of 464 degrees Fahrenheit, 240 degrees Celsius. Now, to put this into perspective, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius. However, styrofoam containers will start to soften much before reaching their melting point. When styrofoam is heated, it begins to leach styrene and benzene. These are chemicals known to be toxic if consumed. Over time, these chemicals can cause some serious health problems. If you Google search polystyrene toxicity, you'll find millions of results and there are so many studies that have otherwise concluded that it should not be heated with food. Styrofoam component styrene is linked to cancer in a 2018 study by the World Health Organization WHO, they labeled styrene as a carcinogen. Many other health organizations have since followed suit in classifying styrene as having some connection to cancer. The International Agency for Research on Cancer and the Department of Health and Human Services also agree. Do you want to learn more? In our article, we have a ton more information including how styrofoam is linked to hormone issues, an easy-to-read table that explains how leaching can come from styrene, and more. 
Visit our official site by Google searching Family Guide Central Microwave Food in Styrofoam Containers, or you can click on the link in the description below. We love providing helpful videos so subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. As always, in this video, the topics discussed, and ideas presented are opinions and presented for entertainment purposes only. The information presented should not be construed as professional health, financial or legal advice. Always do your own due diligence.